Welcome friends, today we are going to see a non-destructive test which is ultrasonic pulse velocity test. In this we measure the velocity and based on the measured velocity we decide the concrete quality. So basically we are determining the quality of the concrete based on the velocity. So uh, first we will start with the attachments required. So first one is the display unit. Then you can see the cables which are attached to this is black color you can see the transmitting and receiving transducer. This is glass type of calibration rod we called it as. And then we will require the gel. So we will pass the waves and you need to write. So here you can see this is the gel. Okay. So it is simple velocity is equal to length upon time. So that is the simple logic we are need to apply here. Okay. So first step is to calibrate the instrument. So for that take the calibration rod, apply the gel on both the sides and then you can take these transducers. You can use any as a transmitting and receiver, no problem. Now uh, on the screen as per the manual you need to keep the values and then you can click on the play button. So it will calculate the time. So for that calibration rod the time is 25.4. So now here right now we are getting 31.4 microsecond so which is not matching. So again do the calibration process. So here you can see we have done it but we have shown the directly the results. Okay. Now we can work on any specimen this test because we have calibrated. So we have one concrete cube with us uh, that cube we are going to test. So for that uh, you need to apply the grease on the faces where you are going to attach this transducer. Here very important parameter is the length. So you have to give the length as it is directly you can see 0.150 meter so no need to change you can play the button now it will calculate the time and velocity so 42.4 is the time and below that the value is velocity so it is more than 3000 or something so this chart is very important if velocity is more than 4.40 km per second the quality is excellent and if it is less than 3 the quality is poor you can see the values for good and doubtful so these values are from IS code 516 part 5 section 1 2018. Now there are different ways you can attach the transducer and receiver position. First one is the direct, second one is the semi-direct and third one is the indirect. So direct is mostly preferred because it is more accurate. For more theoretical knowledge you can see the description box, the link I have shared. Uh, for this particular UPV test. Also, you can click on the I button. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.